Welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Terrell Owens going on a little media tour, exposing Stephen A. Smith. Check this videos out. What's the vibe, man? Oh man, it's not a good one. I, I mean, I, okay. it's, it's not a it's just not a good vibe, but uh, it, it's mm. all good, man. He's on his uh, using his platform to kind of insinuate certain things, this and that and the other, and then uh, you know I don't like you know the fact that he he name dropping notable people. You yeah. know, named on the show like you know, like they signed with him and stuff. And these are actually, mm-hmm. you know, people that I, I I feel like I respect. The fact that he's using his platform to kind of you know try to discredit me, tarnish my character, this and that and the other. But you one of my brothers from a long time. Like we've been hooping together for damn near over a decade, and it was right. brought up to me last episode. I said, man, you know what? I'm gonna just call because I know his heart. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you a right. giver. Yeah. You pull up for charities. Mm-hmm. You shake hands and kiss babe. And it's kind of interesting to me that we talking about um, black and doing that shit publicly on these cameras and shit like that over something that happened years, years, years ago. Where, no, where did it go no, wrong? Y'all didn't have a chance to talk that out? No, nah, no, nah, we don't have any. It, it's not even that harmonious between us two, bro. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. uh, it is what it is. Uh, just you guys, just stay tuned. Uh, I just hopped on all the smoke with uh, Stack and Matt Barnes. Come so on. Gotcha. you know, then you'll hear kind of my side of the story. Mm-hmm. You know, and so my thing is, he has a platform. You know, on first take, and then he got his. I just found me somebody and a couple of guys with with all the smoke. And the thing about it, bro, is that the issue was. I reposted something in response to a lot of the fans heard the podcast that he did with Joe Budden talking about why Max is no longer on the show. Right. Um, saying that he didn't like working with Max, this and that and the other. Then obviously, we all know Max ended up getting fired. So mm-hmm. a lot of the fans heard that interview. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the fans, because of that, didn't like that. So they brought up the clip when I was on the show where I mentioned, and I said it tongue in cheek. You guys can watch the video for yourself. Mm-hmm. I said that Max seemed blacker than him, but I was laughing mm-hmm. and I told the dude that was tongue in, I said it tongue in cheek, blah, 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 blah. I said it because it's what a lot of people have been thinking over the years. Mm-hmm. So now the fact that ESPN done padded his pockets with a lot of money, now he's walking around like he's an athlete, like he really one of us, you know, and just, just really got diarrhea at the mouth. Oh, mm-hmm. So... My thing is, so I addressed it. You know, you guys tune into all the smoke. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I appreciate Matt Barnes and, and, and Stephen Jackson for giving me the opportunity to really kind of not really set the record straight, but I want to give them some context as to what went on and stuff, things of that nature. Right. And then he wants to insinuate that I ain't got no money. Oh, and no. I was, it's a money grab. It's coming out. And again, my, my thing was, bro. You on that show looking, you know, got people, got your co-workers, got the world thinking like you be this big guy talking tough, this and that and the other. But at the end of the day, but you're not going to be calling me no, no sorry, empathetic ass yeah. type of person. Like I mentioned. That's why, that that's why I wanted to call you, you, bro, because I, you know, I look at a lot, of, a lot of these things is crazy because you're my friend. So I'm like. Bro, like, that's not even, that's not, you could tell when you said it, mm-hmm. that's you just being funny. We play basketball. We talk shit all day. This is like yeah. black man banter. Yeah. We're, not, we're not disrespecting yeah. each other, so. We hoop all the time. I'm around a lot of a lot of guys that come in and out of that gym, bro. You know, I'm not I'm not a bothersome person. I don't bother nobody. Nope. Like you said, nobody's not going to be, not going to just run up on people and just feel like they can be disrespected. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I said, I don't, I don't say a whole lot. Bro, but at the end of the day, man, I'm not just gonna just let somebody just disrespect me. That's just that's just like you, any man. Stephen A. situation has kind of been brewing of late. Um, I saw what the, you got brewing, right? I saw there's <laughs> a, a initial situation happened back during the Kaepernick thing, and, right. and you guys got into it, and, and the world saw that. I don't know how it kind of recirculated, but it has. Uh, Stephen A. Smith went on his podcast and kind of said his reasoning and his piece behind it. Um, you're here now, and, yeah. and and we want to give you the floor to uh, say your piece. But before you say your piece, you know we got love for both y'all, and sure, yeah. I want to know: is there any any light at the end of the tunnel? No, I guys? don't. I, I don't think so, because he's used his platform really kind of to really tarnish, and really attack you my are. character. You know what I mean? Okay. Who I am as a person. Okay. You know what I mean? So regardless of however he started his monologue and his thing with his his podcast, trying to build me up to break me down. We all see through that, you know what I mean? And all the people he's talking about that has reached out to them, just not the other from GMs to players and coaches, who gives a who gives a shit, mm-hmm. to be quite honest. Cause I've had this I've had people, you know, that have reached out to me, players as well, 
you know, mm-hmm. and some of the people that he thinks are cool with him, they're not cool with him. Mm-hmm. So before I go on my diatribe, Stephen A, can't be a soliloquy because I'm here with these guys, mm-hmm. but I will address some of those things. The floor is yours, bro. Talk us. So, 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 so the initial situation to, to, to backtrack, the initial situation was during the Kaepernick situation where he was trying to come back. Uh, there was an incident where you, him, and Max were talking, right. and you said Max acts a little blacker than you, whatever, and that kind right. of got the thing and, going. So, what happened from, from, from so from there? What happened? Uh, and even on even at the the, the clip, like again, you said it resurfaced. Mm-hmm. It resurfaced resurfaced because I guess he did an interview with Joe Budden, and he explained why he didn't like Max or he didn't like working with Max. Okay, and so and obviously. Max ended up getting fired, blah, 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 blah. So fans took to that interview and they brought up, okay, well, this is why T.O. said what he oh, said. Okay, okay. So I kept getting tagged on the video. Okay. And in my phone, I'm like, yo, what's going on? So I saw the comments or what have you. And I just, I haven't backed down from anything. I just said facts and just left it at that. He took offense to that. Then he went on his podcast and said that I posted it, which I didn't. And even in my response to that, and I'm like, genius, I, I retweeted it. I didn't actually post it. I didn't go out of my way to go bring everything up. It was only a response to that interview that he did with, with uh, Joe mm-hmm. Budden about Max that all the fans, you know, brought it up. Mm-hmm. So he took offense, you know, to that. And so that's where it all all resurfaced. Now, he, I, I got a chance to see what he said. I went back and watched it. He said something about a lawsuit at ESPN or so. Right. So. You- Right. So, right. So the I guess there was something going on. I guess we were talking about uh, the Kaepernick situation and and somehow there was a a text exchange between me and him. Between you and Stephen A. Me and Stephen A. And he on air, he mentioned something about the text, which I didn't give him consent to do. Mm -hmm. I had you done. But uh, that's that's one rule. Somebody texts you. Or any type of conversation takes you do not share that on social media or none of that, bro. You just, especially you the person clearance. don't know. Yeah. You have clearance. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. So I didn't take the onus. I didn't go out of my way to go file a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. I had an attorney that reached out to me. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, that's not right. It's copyright infringement, something along those lines. Gotcha. Oh, so someone just reached out. To, uh, an attorney came and found you about it yep. and said, do it, you want to pursue yeah, action Yeah, this is against... what happens. Like, he can't do that. So gotcha. it wasn't really him. It was ES- I, I looked at ESPN. Okay. ESPN has dogged me over the years, mischaracterized me, having people having misunderstandings about who mm-hmm. I am, you know, whether, whether you know, it's as far as my character is, mm-hmm. is concerned. Everybody's talking about I'm arrogant, mm-hmm. I'm selfish. Of course, I've had disagreements with some players, some coaches, but who hasn't? Mm-hmm. Right. Now, my but question to you, opti- I do, not to cut you off, I don't because I don't I want you to finish. Right. I do remember, he, but he was one of the best. So before all this shit hit, you guys were cool then, because I remember he used to stand up for you a lot. That was the one thing he used to do back in the day before the shit hit the fan. I think everybody realized Stephen A was cool with a lot of things back in the day. Okay. But as time has surpassed, okay. A lot of people have a different opinion about who Stephen was then and okay. who he is now. Okay. I'm one of those people. So regardless of that, me and Stephen A, we ain't buddy buddy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whether he talks good or bad about me on his show, whether it's objective or subjective, whatever, that's his job. Okay. I don't I didn't know Stephen A prior to me, I guess our initial meeting. I guarantee he knew about me because of my play before I knew about him. So we're not we're not buddy buddy. Okay. At the end of the day. And so again, Back to my point. The attorney reached out. He said, "This is what it, this is what we're gonna do." He went out to ESP. They, he submitted the, uh, the the file or the claim to uh, ESPN, and that's how how things uh, started. But for me, for him to say and elude or insinuate that it's a money grab or something like that, that's 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 that's, that's not cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To insinuate, oh, I'm broke, this, and that, and the other, because these are these are certain things. Like I said. That I t- it is personal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's no, it's no secret. I had, I was represented by Drew and Jason Rosenhaus. They referred me to uh, Pro Sports Financial, who was managed, uh, who's a financial advisor, and Jeff Rubin. It's public knowledge, bro. I got taken advantage of. They stole a lot of my money. Mm-hmm. Anybody that knows me, I didn't just go blow my money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, do I have the means that I had back then? Absolutely not. But for him to go on TV and insinuate certain these things that I did X Y Z, and I'm desperate, that's not cool, bro. I'm that ain't not gonna, nobody business. I'm anyway. not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let that slide. So at the end of the day, and I told him, I called him. I told him, I said, "Yo, 
Keep that same energy. You're going to call me a sorry ass and I'm pathetic, things of that. I'm trifling. When, if I ever come across him, keep that same right, energy. So I totally understand this here because Stephen A. Smith, he has first take and he also has his own podcast, which obviously he's built up through being on first take all these years. He has that audience. T.O. not playing anymore. He doesn't have... I think they had a podcast before, but they're not running it anymore. Um, he doesn't have the same audience. So whatever Stephen A. says right now is kind of like people just taking it at face value, you know, about him being broke um, and, and trying to sue Stephen A. and ESPN because of that. And also about Stephen A. sending or not sending the text and showing it on TV, which he obviously did and he admitted to doing. And another a number of other things. Okay, so T.O. is just coming on shows that have an audience so that he can get his message out there because Stephen A. is trying to do what he always does to every athlete that he has an issue with. Uh, most notably, Kwame Brown trashing them. Right, using his platform of you know 100 million or whoever is watching the amount of the, the crazy amount that's always watching on ESPN or on his podcast, trashing them day in day out as, as much as he can, right? Until the audience believes, you know that that Kyrie Irving is a bad guy or Kevin Durant, you know, is not a leader or or Skip Bayless this or whatever, okay, whatever the case is. So T.O. is getting out ahead of this and meeting fire with fire. That's why he went up on he went on all the smoke because they have a big fan base, which is maybe even more than he has on his own podcast. So this video is going to make the rounds. People are going to see it and at least get a different point of view, a believable point of view as well. All right, if they want to see more, they can also check out Marcellus Wiley. Right? So they're not just getting Stephen A. Smith's viewpoint as usual. Okay, because he can talk the loudest and he's speaking to the most people. So sometimes that means that the story he creates is right. But in this case, it's not. And I'm happy that T.O. is going places, go, going on his little media tour and explaining to people what actually happened. So that's about it. So until next time.